Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be um, showing you how I flat twist my hair. I've been doing flat twists in my hair probably since I was a teenager. Yeah, that probably was the only style that I learned how to do on my hair. That and um, braiding my hair or corn roll. Um, as you can see, I have little afro puffs. And I always have little afro puffs before I do twist on my hair because I usually... Um, part it that way it's easy for me to part so when I'm doing my twist I don't have to stop and part my hair so the things that we're going to be working with today of course pink lotion of course um, pro style gel comb brush toothbrush and bobby pins I like these bobby pins. I usually try to buy bobby pins um, in colors um, because when I wear different outfits, I like to kind of match a little bit. So, of course, I'm wearing pink and black today, so I decided I'm going to go with the pink bobby pins. Okay, so I'm going to take the hair twist off my hair. And like I said, I like hair twists because I don't like rubber bands because they um, break off your hair. So, the twist, even if you tuck in pull them or whatever else you don't have you don't see any hair on the twist so my hair was just freshly washed it's not really all that wet but you can tell that it was just freshly washed and I'm just gonna put a little pink lotion you don't want a whole lot of pink lotion on it you just want a little pink lotion so it makes the process a little easier get you a little shine in there I'm going to take my brush, just brush it in a little so you don't sink pink lotion sitting on the top of your hair as you're twisting it. Make sure you put some pink lotion on those edges as well. And I usually just get like some hair, like two little pieces. You know, you want to start it off like that. Being that you're a beginner, you want to start like two pieces. And you just separate them like that and you're gonna twist them and you're gonna start as you're twisting them you're grabbing your other hair as well and don't worry about your edges right now that's really not gonna make a big difference because you're gonna gel those down and I do mine pretty tight because I just want to make sure that I'm getting those edges in there while I'm twisting it And you just want to make sure you get all that other hair back there in there as well. What I used to do, and I still do this, because sometimes the twist will become, become unraveled. So I try to go a little tighter at the ends or if you want to sometimes you can like plait it at the ends so you don't have to worry about it coming loose but there's my little twist I'm gonna take one of my bobby pins it's gonna tuck it back And there you see it. I pinned it. Now I'm not going to worry about my ends. I mean my edges until I actually finish my other side. And I'm going to take the twist off that side. This is some thick stuff. So this may lead a little more pink lotion. And it really doesn't take a whole lot to do twists. Just want to make sure you work that in there really good. Getting all in the back. Just want to make sure you get your edges. Mm -hmm. And also when you brush your hair, people don't realize, but when you brush your hair, 
you're massaging your scalp as well and it causes your hair to grow it invigorates your scalp when you brush it so again I have my two pieces of hair separated I'm just gonna go around I mean when I was growing up people said oh my gosh who did your hair did you twist your hair and I'm like yeah it's not that hard but you know me growing up my grandmom was a beautician my mom went to hair school for a beautician I went for a minute a quick minute seriously um, I didn't like standing on my feet a long time so didn't work out for me I'm gonna switch it up a little bit sometimes you have to switch it up a little bit make sure you got those edges like that right there and you just keep going all around just keep going around you want to get all your edges in there my hair is like super thick so I'll make sure I have to get all that extra hair that's out there so that's why I had to put my hands to the back to make sure I draw that in there because you don't want to have any hair sticking up in the back it's not a good look people and as I said you can work your way try to make it a little tighter so you don't have to worry about it poofing up in the front and I mean a quick little style it's not going to take you no more than 10 or 15 minutes you're going to get your other bobby pin which I have here tuck it around then you're going to get your gel your gel I love this gel and you're just gonna go around your edges like this and like I said any excessive gel of course you're gonna wipe it off and you just get your brush excessive gel you know how much gel you use on your hair you just want those edges to lay down And there you have it. Wasn't that hard? Very simple. Little twist. And you can wrap it up and go on your way, or you can just leave it like this and go on your way, however you want to do it. But I hope you enjoyed that video on twist. And the only thing I used was the pink lotion, of course, um, the gel, hair comb, brush toothbrush and of course these cuties okay and I always like I said I always put my hair in afro puffs before I begin and I always use hair ties so until next time YouTube see I have a little pink lotion up there peace